Hi everybody, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we're going to look at another tool that you should be using, but you probably are not. It's called Listery, and it is a file search and application launcher that wedges itself right inside of your own applications to make it even easier to find the files that you're looking for. Now, over the years, I have recommended Void Tools free application called Everything. Everything is literally the fastest tool I've ever used to find something that you want. For example, if you've tried using Windows Search, which is absolutely a joke, to look for something like an MP4 file, such as Predator the movie here, you're not going to find anything because, well, Windows Search totally sucks. But if I look for Predator here, uh, I will, um, for, well, first of all, i got to be able to type, if I search for Predator here, you can see that I find all occurrences of Predator and I find it almost in near real time because everything is, well, everything. I can search for partial names. I could search for wild cards. I could do all sorts of things to uh, find this file, which is great. And then from there, I could right click it and I could launch it or whatever. Uh, I could open the path that it's in. But again, I have to run everything to get that. Where Listery is different is it's sort of a background task that's just waiting for you to open something with a file manager, a file dialog box, or from your desktop. It sounds a little bit crazy, but let's just go ahead and pop it in here. Let's go ahead and download it. There's no sign up. There's no fee. There's a, it's free. There's a couple of pro features, which we'll look at here in just a minute. But for the most part, Listery can be used by pretty much everybody for free. You will get a user account control pop-up dialog. That's okay. And we're going to go ahead and install it. Easy peasy, tiny, not a big deal. We're going to run it. And we say, ah, would you like a quick tour? Yeah, let's do the quick tour. An explore window will be open to get you started. Now, um, I am using, um, obviously I'm using directory opus instead of file manager or explorer. So obviously that's going to be uh, a little bit different depending on what you're using. Now it says in explorer type directly what you need like text two, right? And you can see that it in, indeed it said in the current list, there is index file two.txt and you can see it highlighted there. Okay, cool. Now tab up down to select a file or folder, hit enter or escape to hide the listery toolbar. Right, so I could uh, do a tab to go to the next ones, or I could, let me do that again. I could use up and down to select, and then I could hit enter to open it. Okay, well, that, that's cool. I mean, so literally <clears throat> it gave me the ability to search within Directory Opus's file lister. Now, Directory Opus already has that. It has, it has two different methods of searching. So that's cool if I wasn't already in Directory Opus, right? If you prefer the mouse, you can use a mouse double click or middle click to access listery. Type in any area or double click anywhere in the area. And of course, this, uh, this doesn't work inside of Directory Opus. That's okay. So search all of your apps or files anytime by pressing control twice. So this is really where listery lives. It lives as a double tapping of the control. And you can also set a different hotkey, of course. But then you can type in notepad, right? And then hit enter, you can open it. Sweet, okay, well, that's, that's pretty quick from a, from a workflow point of view, that's really, really fast. Inside of notepad, hit the, go to the file menu, open and press control G. Okay, so let's do that again. Okay. Control G. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I had to oh, do file open first, right? So file open. Okay, so now this application defaults to my documents. I know exactly where they're going with this. Control G. Control G actually looked at the last file manager that I used, in this case, directory opus's path, and instantly inserted it into the application. And there is text file two. So let's not undersell this. Everybody has at least one application that completely ignores the last place that you were at, right? 
Uh, emulators are big about doing this. Uh, applications that expect you or demand that you save things in the documents folder. Pretty neat stuff. So uh, Listery just let this open dialog navigate to the current folder and explore. That's pretty cool. Um, and so that's really the that's really the short, 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 short tutorial version. Okay, so <clears throat> we now know that Listery is great for finding files, right? So let's do that again. Double click control, type in predator. And just as you saw, um, now this is kind of interesting. It automatically knew something about VLC Media Player because the files that it found were predominantly movie files. That's kind of interesting, right? And the more we go here and we sort of refine the search, um, it actually starts showing us just what it is that we're looking for. So again, I can I can write a cursor, which by the way, this all works with the keyboard. So, so let's say we all know that the mouse is fantastic, but it's a killer for workflow, right? If you have to click here, move the mouse, click here, move the mouse, click here, move the mouse, click here, that's great. It's very easy to use and it's very intuitive. But real power users are keyboard users and being able to quickly use the keyboard to do what you need without ever clicking a mouse or without ever using a mouse can really enhance your workflow depending on what it is that you're doing with files. So there's all sorts of actions we can do, and you can even add your own actions here if you don't like uh, or need more than what the default is. Of course, you have standard context, uh, contextual menus or context menus that you can do as well. Okay, so we got Predator 4 and, uh, or Predator MP4, and we can send that to whatever we want. Standard stuff, open with, send it to VLC Media Player. Now, the application action stuff is actually part of the paid thing, but you get a free evaluation of it. Listery Pro is really cheap. So the, if, if you find that you're, um, that you're really jonesing for some of these advanced action features, most people are going to use this as a file search tool, which is great and that's free. So if you upgrade, uh, let's just take a quick look at the price at the time of the video. It's 20 bucks. Not going to break the bank. Okay, so we know we can quickly find files that we want using double tap control. What else can we do? What else is over here? Favorite menus, right? So you can add favorites. You can get last known breadcrumb trails to where you were before. It understands and it keeps those for you. That can save you a ton of time. You can also immediately switch to the last open folder in File Manager, open the file selected in File Manager. It'll show you any folders that are currently open. Well, that's actually kind of cool. So let's say, for example, you have an emulator, you've got a ROMs folder, you know, who doesn't, right? Uh, it's just the way that we have it. Um, do I actually have anything on this? Uh, probably not. So we'll just go to Movies, right? So I can... Uh, it, it, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me set up another. Let me bring that back up. Let me go to movies. Uh, let's see. So I've got uh, two different folders. Let me just set something that's totally not movies. Let's go to Windows. So I've got C movies, 2012 to 2020, and this other lister I've got Windows. Let me bring that back down. Sorry, my VM's a little slow. So now I can check this out. Currently open folders. It knows what file manager has. And you can quickly access that location to find something that you want. That's really cool. And, and you can do that, you can do that all with the keyboard, right? So that's that's nutty. That's a great enhancement to your workflow. Right? Good stuff. And of course you do have some of these other features as well. Copying the path hide show file extensions, all that sort of good stuff. Command prompt, that's cool, right? I mean, a quick and easy access to your command prompt would be great. Okay, so we've seen it work as a standalone deal, double click, right? We've also seen it work within Directory Opus. So for example, um, I'm searching for a folder called Movies. There's the folder, hit enter, I'm taken immediately to the Movies folder. Wow, that's pretty fun. I use that a lot, by the way. I use that a lot, right? Because I have certain folders that I've tucked away on my hard drive. I'd use it for my movie intros, for the videos that I shoot. I've got ROM images, all sorts of stuff. Being able to double click and find that folder 
quickly and easily, right, and jump into it without having to, you know, do all the clicking around and digging. That's really cool as well. So we know it works within a file manager, but what about your day-to-day -day applications? Now, I don't have a lot of day-to-day -day applications on this VM, but I do have VLC Media Player. So if I were to go to Media and open File, again, it defaulted to Documents. So I could hit Control G. Uh, in this case, I don't think I have, I don't have a, a last known location, so Control G is not going to help me here. But I could go here, right, and go to my recently opened folders and find what I'm looking for. Um, or, of course, I could use the same searching, right? And it immediately gives me access to that file. And if I click on it, it'll bring it in and I hit enter again and I'm playing it. And of course, that's just an intro to my, it's not really Predator, it's just an intro to my uh, videos, my YouTube videos. Um, but for the sake of argument, yeah. So inside of VLC or any application that uses a standard file dialog box like this, I can use Listery to find something that I'm looking for like the crow. And of course, it's not the crow, it's just a stupid intro to my videos. <laughs> but you get the idea. So whatever it is that you're using, whether it be Notepad, right? Whether it be Notepad or any of these other tools, file open. Again, doesn't tell me where I want to go. Maybe I'll go somewhere else. I'll go to, say, Windows. That's pretty cool. It, how fast is it to just jump around in here? Currently open folders. Let's go to this Movies folder. Oh, well, there's no text files in there, so not much I can do. But let's say one of the common uses, and if you're a power user, <clears throat> you've probably had to do this. Have you ever had to open your host file? Host file is something that you use to like override ad servers and to, to test websites that aren't live yet. I know this is a little esoteric use case, but this is so cool I had to show you. If I go to everything and look for my host file, because let's be honest, if you don't use it every day, it's kind of hard to find. It's buried within the Windows folder. So if I type in host, it doesn't have an extension. It's not host.txt. It's not host.doc. It's just called hosts. And you can see, uh, I have to scroll way down here, and then there's a couple of different versions of it. Here's the one I'm actually looking for. So that's kind of a pain. But check this out. If I double tap and I type in hosts, what the? It actually says edit hosts is the first item. And of course, it does show me the host file that I'm looking for. And it sort of it sort of did it with almost a priority, knowing that this is probably the one that I wanted. The ability to edit your host file by doing this, of course, it's a pro feature, and, I, and it does uh, require an elevation. Um, but that's crazy, that's crazy. I actually, have a, I actually have a hotkey inside of directory opus on my main workstation to actually open up my host file in an editor. Um, but to be able to do something like that, is really, really crazy, and it's really, really cool. So listen, I, we can sit here all day and talk about Listery and how it works and uh, how it can work for you, but let, just get it for yourself. Try it out. Make it part of your daily driver. Make it part of your daily driver for a week. And once you start using Listery as your daily driver, um, you're going to realize that you're not going to want to live without it. And maybe you'll pick, kick in for the 20 bucks, maybe not. Uh, like I said, most of the features are super, super easy and free. Uh, some of the more advanced features, of course, are not. But, but let's take a look at a, just one more thing before we take off here. Let's take a look at the options real quick because there's a lot of stuff that you won't really know is there unless you look. So obviously you could register it. You can start it with Windows, blah, blah, blah. There's some keyword type searches. Um, some filtering that you can add. We didn't really cover that. You can also change the way it looks. Uh, you can add your own actions. This is really cool. I mean, if I mean, doing a, a Git bash, right? That's that's nutty. That's uh, editing it with Notepad plus plus. There's all sorts of custom actions that you could add that would really extend the usefulness of this tool. Projects. Uh, there's all sorts of interesting things you could do with that. Favorites for your menus. 
that you can add in there. You can also turn off that control twice. Let's say you have an emulator that uses the control as the fire button, or you play pinball on your keyboard. <laughs> you probably don't want hitting control twice. Now, I would really like it if you could do alt twice or some other non-control key, but listen, we can't have everything. You can turn that off and you can replace it with something else. Obviously, win F is not a good choice, but if I do control alt F, for example, uh, and apply that. Now control alt F will bring up Listery instead of uh, me having to double click twice, right? So if I double, I can sit here and do control all I want. Now only control alt F does the deed. Uh, next item, previous item actions, you can change those shortcuts as well. Uh, what do you want to index? You can force index rebuilding, all that good stuff, power user stuff. Um, you can actually say what applications will use this, uh, and you can add or remove them, but for some reason, you did not want directory opus to use find as you type or middle click or any of these other sorts of additions, you can turn them off here. Of course, upgrade and about. Listen, I hope you enjoyed looking at Listery. Give it a chance, give it a week. It'll, it'll, it'll change your life if you do a lot of uh, file access. And honestly, even if you don't do a lot of file management, just being able to find that rogue file really can make your life great. Thanks always so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching and take care.